Okay. Uh, so I'm now merging two videos together because I went on and started working on the prop and then I messed up. So I'm going to go from our hull uh, to our prop. And I think I worked out what just went wrong. So let's, let's work, do it again. All right, so now how about the propellers? Let's create a part studio. And I'm going to call this one, I think I have three propellers. Yeah. So I'm going to call this one propeller four. Okay. And I'd like to keep it together. So just give me a moment to keep everything from becoming too messy. So let's, a quick propeller here, super quick. And I hope it'll go smoothly this time. Because it didn't a minute ago. Anyway, so um, on your top plane, you're going to sketch. And the first thing you sketch is the hub. So I don't know, 11 inch boat by whatever it is, eight or nine inches wide. I, I'm, I'm, maybe the hub should be at, at the most about a half an inch in diameter, something like that. Half an inch in diameter. And let's just extrude it to half an inch too. And so we have a little cylinder here, 0.5, right? And um, a little cylinder here. And all we're going to do is, yeah, I think this is where I went wrong before. I just did things out of order. Um, all I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to create a helix on this, all right? So I'm going to go up to my helix tool. It's in this menu here. I'm going to go to my helix tool and the cylindrical face I'm going to put a helix on is right there. I don't want my propeller to wrap around like that, you know, five or, or four times. Um, let's do turn. Let's not do turns. Let's do height and pitch, all right? So this thing's half an inch tall. So let's go 0.5 inches up. Now the pitch, it's if you play with this stuff, you start to see what's going on here. Um, the pitch is one inch. Let's, uh, oh, where's this, where's this thing? Oh, I didn't choose the edge, of course. So, so uh, edit. Um, I have to also choose the circular edge that I want to start from, which is here. So there it is. That's what I was looking for. And that's a half an inch up, which is just the height of the object, and then a pitch of one. So, you know, when I fiddle with this stuff, I go to, I, I, I try really small numbers and see what that looks like, right? So there's a, there's a pitch of 0.5. Okay, you don't want each propeller, each blade to wrap all the way around once. You don't want that, right? You don't want 0.5. Let's try another real, you know, let's try a big number, 5. Let's see what that looks like. That's what, you know, that's like that. And you don't probably don't want your blades to be, you know, too close to vertical either, because then they, they would just be a, a sideways paddle wheel sort of thing. So I don't know, three or two. Just leave it at two. This is these are the things you can play with. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and accept that. I'm going to um, I'm going to start a new sketch. I forget which plane I'm on here. Yeah. So. That helix starts on uh, right, right on the base of the right plane. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sketch on the right plane, and I'm going to use this point right here. I'm gonna use that point. Did it take? Use that point. Yeah, I guess so. Right. So. Um, and uh, what am I going to use it for? I'm going to use it for this line. Um, oh, right, right, right. So that's the right plane. Uh, I'm going to draw the. I'm going to draw on the top plane here. So I'm going to draw a line on the top plane. And right from that point. So I'm going to draw a line on that right out straight. And this is the width of your, uh, the width of the blade itself. So I don't know, if we make it 0.6, then if we, if we make it 0.5, then each blade is, is, is a half an inch long. Um, I don't think that's long enough. Let's go, let's just go with one. That's what it looks like. Again, these are the things you can play with. Let's escape out of that line tool. And, um, then I'm just going to sweep that line up that path. So let's go ahead and sweep. 
uh, edges and curves to sweep. I want I want to, I want that to, I want to sweep that and what's the path? That's the path. Okay, so there's a blade looking thing, but it's it's got no thickness. It's got no it's a mathematical plane. So we need to add thickness. So thicken that face. And I'm just going to do half a millimeter, 0.5 mm's. And um, oh, 0.02 is, uh, is, is 0.02 inches. Is 0.02 inches. So I just thickened this thing, and um, it may be too much. Let's go back to thicken. Edit. This is where I ran into trouble last time too. Let's go to 0 0.01. 0 0.01. 0 0.015 inches. 0 0.015 inches, and okay. Now, what do we do here? Let's see. Let's go ahead and um, do a new extrude on part one. Uh, I thought I could choose part one right there. Maybe I can just choose it here too. Face of extrude one. Um, flip that over. Let's see, this is half an inch tall. I want it to extend another quarter inch. So 0.75 up, 0.75 up. And then, I don't know, let's do a, a second end position and um, just a little bit, like a quarter of an inch. No, let's do an eighth of an inch, one over eight. Let me get that. Accept it. Okay. Let's do a big fillet up top. Something more like point, point, maybe a quarter inch. Let's see what that gives us. Yeah, that looks half good. A quarter inch gives us that rounded hub. Um, and I accept that. And I'm going to, before I, before I use circular pattern to get a few of these, I'm going to try to clean up that. I don't like that these are two different colors. Um, don't quite know why they are, but let's try to make them the same color by performing a Boolean. Okay, good. See, the problem is when they're two colors, they're two parts, and then when you choose an edge to, ex to fill it, it just fills that one edge, it doesn't fill it into the other part. And so you, you get like a removal of material instead of an addition of material. So, so the Boolean command just worked. I'm going to go in here and fill it that. Uh, it won't be a quarter inch for sure. Let's just put in something a lot less to start with, like 0.05, and see what that looks like. All right, so what do I want to do that? Did it take ed entities to fill it? That. Um, it didn't like that, 0.05. Is it just too small or too big, 0.5? Well, it can't do 0.5, of course. 0.1. Does that do anything here? Um, maybe 0.05 was just too big. 0.01. Let's see if we get results here. That surprises me. Um, fill it to edit. Where did that? What's going on here? 0.01 inches. Uh, but, you know, it is thin, so. to delete that. Um, I don't know. So uh, this is the basic design. Um, sometimes you have to fiddle with these edges to get them to fill it properly. It happened pretty quickly in the other sketches. I'm, maybe this one's, I'm just drawing it smaller or something, and so the fillet is acting up. Entities to fill it. Edge of Boolean 1. The difference is with the other one, I didn't have to do a Boolean. It, it was the same color to begin with. Uh, so maybe I'm going to go back to Thicken and edit that. Gosh, it should be able to do that. This is just a quarter of a, uh, just under half a millimeter. Zero point, um, I did 0.5 millimeters on the other one. Uh, maybe I'll try 0.2 millimeters. 
Well, I'll try 0.2 millimeters here. And accept it. And well, let's just see. If I kill this Boolean, it turns a different color. Let's go ahead and fill it this, see what happens here. Yes, yeah, see, it's removing material on just one of the edges. Gosh, darn it. Um, why, 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 why? Boolean, back to the Boolean, bonk, yes. One part, fill it, that edge. Hey, it worked that time. Okay, I did nothing different, and yet it worked that time. Okay, whatever. 0.02, let's see if we can get a little bit more out of this. Yeah, that's better. And let's, you know, let's push it even a little farther. Let's, can we go to 0.05? What does 0.05 look like? Yeah, for some, some reason now it's working just fine. You know, it's a little bit wonky. But uh, I want to do this edge too. And finally, we've got something we can circular pattern. Okay. So now all we have to do is pattern tool. Oops, I chose linear pattern. I don't want that. I want circular pattern. And um, entities to pattern. Well, that thing. Axis of pattern. That circle down there. And it uh, it's defaulting to four. Oh, look. Wait. Bonk. Turn that off. Uh, somehow these... I didn't... Oh, I didn't balloon these edges. Uh, uh, let's... You know, these are very sharp corners. Let's... I didn't mean blue. Let's fill it these, and let's fill them a lot. So let's let's get rid of that, and let's make that look more like it. What does zero point five do for us here? It won't take point five. Uh, point two. Yeah, it did point two for us. See, I don't like those sharp corners. I just got rid of that sharp corner there with a with a um, fillet. Uh, will it take point three? It didn't take point five. Let's see if it takes point three. That's better. How about point four? Will it take point four? It liked 0.4, and it didn't like 0.5 last time. Let's see if it does this time. No, it doesn't like 0.5. That's okay. We'll go with 0.4. Nice big curve there. And let's do that upper one at 0.4 also. That one right there. Bonk. And that's starting to look more like a propeller blade. There we go. And now let's go to circular pattern. And let's choose our entity to pattern. And our axis of our pattern, again, is the circle down here. And we get four. And you can change this number, right? And Or, or flip the direction. Um, four, you know, you could do six of them. Or one of them. That would be, that'd be a strange propeller with one prop. You know, this is kind of cool stuff, right? Six. Um, let's go back to three. There's three of them. Um, this is how it goes. So the things to play with are the pitch, right? And the, um, you know, so you play with the pitch and you play with the number of blades. And, you know, here's propeller number four. It looks a lot like propeller number one, I think. Oh, this has more blades on it. Again, all I was playing with were blade counts and pitch. That, I guess it looks more like that one. There's propeller. Here's the experimental one that I think will be more of a surface drive blade. We'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll play with these things. We can put them in the wind tunnel and see which ones spin up the best. Oh, and how did I put that hole back here? How did I thread it? Well, the hole tool is wonky. Oh, it's letting me choose it. Sometimes, it, sometimes I have to go and put a point there before it lets me even choose that. I have it set as ANSI tapped. Size number eight, 32 threads per inch. And, oh, it is being wonky. It didn't take, right? Is the hole there? No, there's nothing there. So again, looking at the bottom, maybe I do have to uh, do what I was saying. So, so edit, place to, uh, where should I put the hole? Right there, right there. And then I say, OK. And uh, oh wait, here's the depth, a third of an inch. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, maybe do a quarter of an inch, or a third, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but 
there's no hole showing up. The hole tool is kind of wonky. So sometimes, and really it's, it's odd because it does seem like it sometimes, although it's probably me, right? But sketch on what? On this point tool, if you create a point right there and accept it, and then go to hole, and where do I want to put the hole at that point? Suddenly it's showing up, right? Number eight, ANSI number eight, that's the rod that I have, 32 threads per inch. And I go like that, bonk. And there's the hole this time. Now the threads, what am I seeing there? Part of the blade? What is that hole? What in the world? Where? Who ordered that hole? What the heck? Where'd that come from? Oh my goodness. Delete. I must have, oh, hole one, somehow I put in the side. Yeah, okay. Um, don't know how that happened. Good night. Let's try that again. Our point is still there, I do believe. So let's try that hole tool again. Hole tool at that point. And uh, number eight, 32 threads, 0.3 inches, bonk. Now you'll notice it does not have threads, right? The hole tool can model, can, the hole tool can draw threads, but it can't model threads. I have this add-on called Thread Creator, face to thread, that face. And I think I have it set already. At, no, that's not right. The, the pitch is, um, well, it's 32 threads per inch. So pitch is one over 32. Number of starts, one fully threaded, that hole, yeah, and accept it. And it'll carve those threads in there for us. Pretty sure I hit the green check. Oh, there it goes. And, and those are physical threads. Those will 3D print. Right, so that's how you do that. And um, do, 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 going back up here, Helix, edit. This is what you can play with. You know, the height is the height of the cylinder. The pitch is really what you play with here. You know, two inches or, or one inch. You know, what, what does one inch look like? Um, looks like this. That might be good for a surface drive, right? Because um, it'll create thrust. If they're too angled, there's going to be a lot of push, which will create a lot of resistance back on the thing, which will, you know, our mouse trap isn't that powerful. So you don't want too much pitch. You want, like, high rotation and lower pitch is my intuition. Um, and, uh, you know, so there's that. If it's one inch and then you can... You can play with the length of the line to make the blades a different shape. You can play with the the, uh, the extrude. Um, I'm going to go back to Helix and, and edit it. And um, well, that was a one inch pitch. And you know, uh, what, what does five inches look like? Five inches. Well, that looks entirely different. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so that looks more like a a standard underwater propeller. Um, but I'd like to try a lot of these things. You can change the blades now. You go back to over here to your uh, circular pattern and change the number of blades to five, or whatever you want, five, right? See what that looks like, et cetera, et cetera. These are the things you play with. Ooh, that one looks kind of cool too. Um, uh, I never met a propeller I didn't like. Anyway, so there it is. Um, Mm, curiously, our hole got messed up when I played with the other stuff. But you could redo that. You could just delete it. That was easy. That was easy once you press the right buttons. Um, anyway, okay, there we go. I've talked enough. I gotta go. Bye.